YouTube. What's good? It's your boy Southside Nate, and I'm back with another episode of Let's See What We Can Find in This Junk Yard. Y'all know I'm out here at my favorite place. Now, I seen something on their website a couple months ago. They ain't really, they ain't take a good picture of us, so I ain't come check it out. I ain't wanna come out here for nothing. But I'm out here today for something else, so I'm gonna check that out while I'm here. The way they got this shit is lit. Okay, B7. It's confusing as hell now. What I need, B2. Yeah, the way they got this shit labeled is confusing now. As long as they got that stick on it, it ain't confusing. But B5. So what I'm looking for is up here. B3. So this over here should be B2. All right, it was a false alarm, okay. This one of them Saturns. They be having them roofs in it. This one ain't got no roof on the pictures that they posted online. It just showed the bottom of the car. I like cloth sheets. These shit is decent too. They ain't got no tears or nothing. But yeah, now the other thing I come out here to look at, it just got here today. Now let me see where I gotta go for this. Let's see. It's on C13. I'll cut y'all back on when I get close to finding it. All right, we're in the C section. And we got to get the C. 13. What's that? C5? And that bitch got an LS on the back. I don't know. I can't see the size. It's a folk. It's a 5.3. But damn, somebody don't did all the work for you. I'd be damn. Somebody don't did all the work. Perfect. Shit. All right, this is the one I came to look at. It's an OBS truck. Now, it got the grill that I want, but I can already see the grill crack the hell up couple different spots the bumper looks great got a, got screw holes in the top that's what I was coming for the bumper and the grill the bumper looks straight though it don't look dented the bumper looks straight it's another one right here and this grill look good on this one Oh yeah, this grill look good on this one here. This bump will do too. Oh yeah, I'm about to snatch this bumper and this grill then. I ain't even know this one was here. Oh, I got to have it. Yes sir, bumper straight. You gotta, you gotta catch it from all angles. Sometimes it'll trick you. This ain't cracked up at all. Oh yeah. I got to have it. We gonna put this camera down, get my tools out, and get to work, man. Let's get it.
perfect. 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 Alright, YouTube, I got that baby off. I made quick work up. Quick work. I did have to go back to the truck and get two different tools. An 18 mil and a 7 mil. It's literally all you needed to take this off. And a Phillips head screwdriver to get them lights out your way. But other than that, got the bump off, got the grill off, got all my tools and everything back in the bag. Now I'm about to carry all this up here. Now the grill I know should be, I can handle that with one hand with no problem. But that bumper, I'm about to get a workout in. Oh, I got that little bracket too that I need for the um, driver side of my truck to put the bump on. So I got that too. So yeah, man, it's go time. I ain't gonna do too much more talking to get this stuff up and get up out of here. Let's get it. Oh, they ain't bullshit. They don't got that LS up out of there. They ain't playing no games. All right, you too. So it's about five days later. Something like that. I'm about to go ahead and put that grill, test fit that grill up here and that bumper that I got from the junk yard. And I can go ahead and trash this. So fingers crossed that that baby work and I can go ahead and trash this. Then I can install my other lights. I got that bracket for the bumper. We're gonna go ahead and install all that, make sure everything work. And we're just gonna leave it on the truck until it's time to start on this build. But if I'm not mistaken, this right here should already be able to come off. Now this bumper filler right here seems to be in better condition than the one that's back here. I think this one had a crack on it somewhere. Yeah, right there. She cracked right there. And over here. Yep. But yeah, man. yeah so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna keep the white bumper filler so i'm gonna trash this bumper filler and that grill so yeah i'm going to swap them out and we can go and put this baby up here but all the mountain points that match up that last one i had them mountain points did not match up at all Yeah, boy. Yep, there we go. She back there, match up. Down there, match up. Over there and over there. Man, it's go time. And the two right here. Oh, it's go time. Yeah. OBS oh, about to transform. Oh, yeah. I got the, um, the jump box up there, too, because... I ain't started this baby up in a while. And I got a trick up my sleeve for that transmission situation. We're gonna touch bases on that in a few too. But let me go ahead and snatch this back off. I'm gonna throw y'all on time now, so I snatch this back off, switch out them bumper fillers, and put everything back on. And then we'll Perfect. check it out. Yeah, good. I got these little side markers off because I got new ones to go up there. 
And all of these got all four. I took the ones out of there. This one was missing two. So I replaced two. You can buy them things brand new also. And the bolts that was holding the bumper filler on, it had all different sizes. And that one right there was held on with some zip ties and two bolts. But yeah, man, I don't got those script down. She ready for the trash. Go ahead and get rid of that. I'm gonna go ahead and put them lights in before I slap this grill back up there. I'm gonna take this old shit off too. Yeah. She already coming apart. Go order a new one. Let me get my lights and everything out right quick. And I'll cut y'all back on. Let's get it. All right, yeah, this is all the old little light things. All this mess going in the trash. I keep the hardware. But all that's going in the trash. I know one time I was doing a video on the truck. And, the, and one of the guys watching my video was asking me for these. But he was like, how much to ship them, bro? They said, I swear they said these... On Amazon, like twelve dollars, brand new, and I couldn't get them things off without breaking these. So, but yeah, they sell them brand new. Yeah, there we go. Get them smoked out lights up out of there. There we go. There we go. Old time, man. Huh? Oh yeah. I love smoke that light. Oh yeah. Go time, baby. He's been sitting inside the truck ever since I got him. Once I figured out that grill wasn't gonna work. Just left him in the box. Yeah, man, I'm about to go ahead and hey, mark what side, yep, right, left. I'm about to go ahead and put y'all back on the time lapse, slap these in, and then we'll throw the grill on the car. I might, I think I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie the um, bumper filler up here so I can order me some new fasteners, order me some bolts and nut kits. The way I can um, screw them up the or like them little fastener things that I got over there at Unk Crew that I was just telling y'all about in the last video. I'll probably just order some and they'll be here two days. Max off Amazon. So, yeah. Let's get it. starting to come together I got the I got the wrong light so those lights are for like this truck so
So I'm gonna order some different lights. And I'm gonna take those and put them on this truck. I'll tell you why and how I know. The screw holes ain't lining up right. And then these two side markers right here don't line up right. So I ain't gonna trip because I got a truck that I can use them on. And I've been wanting to get some smoke lights for this anyway. So yeah, and the side markers are made like this. They shorter, they're a little shorter than the um, ones that came off of there. So I'm gonna use those lights for this truck. I'm gonna use them lights right here with the lenses for this truck. And I'm gonna order some more for this, but I'm gonna leave them up here for now. Just so we can get a good look at it. Hell yeah, yeah. Everything gonna line up better, man. See this. With the other grill, could have made it work. But this right here wasn't gonna line up right. This stuff just wasn't gonna line up right. And I just got this some mocked up there for now. It won't push all the way back because them lights ain't right. Yep. And the wire harness is right. I mean, the wire harness is right behind. It ain't got no kind of relief. I need to. I need to move it. Yeah, it's right here. I don't think I got it in the right spot. I mean, it's right behind that light. Oh yeah, she got some slant. She got some slant. So I might need to run the wire harness down this way instead of it's, it's ran down right, right there behind. It. But it got some slack in the harness. So run it over here. But yeah, man, this grill look way better. Well, yeah, man, I like this grill, the way I can use the lights that I like. And she gonna be color matched to the truck, so. I ain't really care about getting one brand new. Would've been nice to get a new one, but this is gonna work perfect. She's just as good as new. So I got that bumper filler zip tied on. I'm gonna order some fasteners for that. And I'm gonna order the correct lights. So it'll come with the right side markers. You need a bolt in there, right? Yes, sir. I think I'm gonna go ahead and slap that bumper on though, cause I can take that in and out without the bumper being, I mean, with the bumper being there. So let's go ahead and do that right quick. Perfect. slots on the hole so you can slide it and this one right here not even tight so I'm gonna leave both on loose they look about identical that one looks like it might be a little longer they look close to identical though but they both loose right now that's why they sitting like that now let's get the bump on and then we'll tighten it up There we go. That's it looking like a truck again. 
Yeah, I'm about to go get on Amazon to order the correct lights. There we go. Front bumper. See how my bumper ain't got that over here, ain't got that license plate thing. This gotta go. It has to go. There we go. Oh man. About to be a problem. Y'all know I say that by all my whips. About to be a problem. But yeah. There we go. Boy, you have a vision. And that thing started coming to light. I think these are the best OBS grills anyway for that for that model. I like the GMC grills, but I ain't like the one that was on here. I like the newer models. And it just wasn't going to line up right for me. And I want this. This got to flow perfect. Everything going to be color matched. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to be the same color as that. That's going to be the same color as this. Like... It got to flow perfect, you know what I mean? Especially for my vision to work. But Ruby going to be a problem. I'm telling you what I know. Burgundy with that gold down there. Going to hit it with the back with the gold pin strike. Yo, going to be a problem. Going to throw some flake in that, baby. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I want to get a cow hood, too. Gotta get a muscle hood for this, baby. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, I just got this stuff up here mocked up. I gotta take the grill off to mount the bumper. I just wanted to get it, everything up there, make sure it fit right, make sure the holes line up. And we lining up, baby. Go time, huh? Yes, sir. It's definitely the move. Definitely the move. Wait, I get the right headlights. The right side. What? Just wait, huh? All this shit gonna fall in. She gonna f hit so hard. These are the bolts. I gotta get some more bolts too. Matter of fact, I got the other ones inside the truck that came out of the other bumper that was on here. So I should have enough. What I might do though is go ahead and get some of that rust stuff and just clean them up. Good look at them. But yeah, man, I ain't gonna do too much more talking. I gotta close the hood. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. This is official, boy. I ain't here to play no games. Ruby ain't here to play no games. Look at them, baby. They both dirty as hell. Look like I just pulled both of them out somebody's backyard. Look at it. Make no sense. Make no sense. See, yeah, look, it was time anyway. See, everything happened for a reason. Look how them things cracked up. Everything happened for a reason. Yeah. But look, man, like, share, comment, subscribe. This video was just a quick video of me going to get them out the junk yard and slapping them on the truck so the truck won't be sitting here looking crazy as hell. I'm gonna go ahead and order my lights for it. I told you I got to trick up my sleeve for how to get this thing moving. It's probably what we'll be doing in the next video of Ruby. To be honest, because as soon as I got it running and was able to move it, I cooked the damn transmission. So this is the thing. When I was initially working on it, trying to get it started, the trans it didn't have no radiator in it, so the transmission lines were just hanging. And every time I would try to start it, it was shooting out transmission fluid. 
So now when I was doing working on it, getting everything right to get it started, I bought some transmission fluid for when I do get it started. Got it running. Come out here, bull jiving, just hop in there, throw it in drive, and stomp it. I mean, it sat right here. She did a nice little one wheel peel right here. But after that, that bitch would not come out of drive. <laughs> I swear, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. And I had some transmission fluid in there. It probably was low as hell, cause I know it shot out at least a couple quarts. Might have not been enough to do some damage. I don't know. But I sat here and did that burnout. And she ain't moved there since. Look how far up she is in the parking space compared to the rest of the cars. Like she is up. But yeah, like I said, I got a trick up my sleeve. Something I'm gonna try. Y'all should already know what the hell I'm probably going to try to do. But I ain't going to tell y'all. Y'all can get in the comments and see if y'all can figure it out. But yeah, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.